Hi, my name is Kelly Berthold, and I'm a mental health provider that wants to help you find a good in-person or virtual provider. And one of the great free resources that are out there is the Psychology Today Therapist Finder. So we're going to explore this website today. So first scrolling down, we can see that there is a find a therapist at your city or zip. I find this to be a little misleading because you can actually type in the, just the entire state. And why this can be helpful is because if you're open to virtual options, you can find providers that are paneled with your insurance or take your insurance that are located anywhere in the state. And that can be a very good thing, especially with nationally long wait lists that we do have in the United States. So here I'm going to type in Pennsylvania. Okay. So now we are looking at Pennsylvania and we can see that there's a number of providers here. All of these providers are not the only therapists that are located in your community or your state, but are paying to advertise their business through the Psychology Today Therapist Finder website. So I can click on any of these individuals and we can see where they're generally located whether they can do it in person, which is the chair or video, and some of uh, their potential locations or zip codes to give you, like if it's Philadelphia, it might help you find more of a specific location of where you are. Um, you can also click on their accounts, which we'll do in a minute to see a larger description. Also, we can see here their phone numbers, contacting them via email and to view their whole profile. So we can also see that their license, you know, this is a social worker, and their accreditations are listed here. You can see a lot of social workers go social work. PhD levels, right? Some individuals will also say whether they are pre-licensed individuals. So maybe they're getting supervision. Those are always good things to check to see where they're getting supervision. But going into the issues here, now you may not necessarily know your diagnosis. You may have been doing some Googling or finding some things on social media. They're like, oh, that really connects to me. Um, and you may also recognize that you do have specific diagnoses, and this can help you hone more into either what you feel like your symptoms are or you've had previous diagnoses that you can specifically click on. And this can help you hone in on providers that have maybe expertise or at least experience in working with these challenges and issues. Now, another big one, insurance. So here we can also see that these are potentially all the possible insurances that maybe individual practitioners may take in Pennsylvania. It is possible that these insurances may change based on the state that you have typed in for your preference. If you have multiple insurances, like say Medicare and Medicaid, you can also click on uh, dual insurances as well. For gender, this is how the provider identifies. So they're communicating that they either go by she, her pronouns, he, him pronouns, or identifying as non-binary. Now we get into our types of therapy list. So these are all the potential lists of therapies that either the providers have listed or it could be the complete you know, whatever it is that the Psychology Today system has. I personally don't know that. But what is good to know is that there are a number of therapies here that hopefully are more evidence-based than not, but we can't guarantee that every therapy on here is necessarily coming from an evidence-based background. And that means it's been studied to effectively help people. That's what evidence-based generally means. In future videos, I'll take some of these therapy models and actually break them down of what they are in short form so you get a general idea of what you may be getting into if you were to work with a provider that specializes or has training or certification in any of these particular therapy models. Now, if you're feeling like you're dealing with certain challenges or symptoms or struggles, it may sometimes be helpful just to do your own research a little bit of, hey, what helps with anxiety? And you might find cognitive behavioral therapy or, hey, I need to work on my sleep. So cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, right? So some things may be helpful just to kind of get a general idea, I'm not saying that you necessarily will find the thing that will work best for you, but it's helping you kind of be informed and curious about what potential therapy models can help your symptoms. 
We can also see here that we can select potential providers that work with certain ages and developmental stages. The prices box may help us see more of what the initial out-of-pocket costs would be with or without insurance. So this could be the full amount that your insurance either pays for or part of it is paid for through your insurance, or if the provider only takes cash, then you'll be able to see that more specifically when you go on to uh, the individual provider's page. Now here, when we click on the more button, we can see that we can identify some other things too, like cultural, spiritual backgrounds, religious affiliations, languages, sexuality. And this can help us again, hone in a little bit more on an individual that may be able to connect with us on a level that we feel the most understood and seen. So here again, we can see cities that he maybe serves, primary locations, types of therapy models, treatment approaches, ages and demographics, um, expertise, right? So uh, where they went to school, if they're, you know, a good standing with the board, this individual uh, was verified, right? So all these things can be really helpful for us to kind of say, hey, is this someone I maybe want to have a consultation with to see if it's a good fit? So send me your questions. What are you looking for in a provider? What are some of your hangups? What are the things that get in the way of finding a therapist? including your concerns regarding finances and costs and what may be available to help you with time to actually just go see a therapist. There's no stupid questions. I want to help you feel like you can advocate for yourself and get your needs met. So listen into my podcast, know your fundamentals that you can find video and audio on Spotify and YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts.